Hey folks, welcome back. This is a question I get asked on my old channel. So I thought I would dress it on this channel about how do I keep my surroundings here in the woods where I live safe. How do I know what is around, especially after dark? So I'm going to address that today and I'm going to show you what I use here that has worked very well. I have this here. This was, when I find something I like folks, I buy a few of them. So when they're needed, I have them for backups, right? This is a wireless security alert system. It goes on sense of motion. So it's a motion detector. And let me show you. This right here is what I call the reader. This is the sensor. Now, this has a, let me turn it sideways. This has a 30 foot reading sensor. Up to 30 feet, it'll sense motion detection. That little red light that came on, you can cover that. Matter of fact, I would recommend that you do cover that. But this here is the sensor. This right here is what detects motion. And this here on, only has a 40 degree range of motion. Okay, 40, 40 degrees, that's it. That's like out here. Nothing, nothing out here. Okay, so this takes a nine volt battery. This is weather resistant. The batteries, if they're new batteries, I use Duracell. They last at least a year, okay? They last at least a year and still still remain pretty good. I have never had one get wet inside, left right outside, okay? What I do not like about this is that it's white. But what I do like about it is you can paint it. Okay, you can paint it. So let's say you put this up on on a birch tree at the end of your driveway. This is already white, so if you take some black and just splotch it on there, it's going to blend into that birch bark, right? If you put it on a maple tree, you can you can maybe take two or three shades of gray paint and paint it. You can cover right there where that little red light is, you can cover that. It's not going to affect the sensor whatsoever. You do not want to cover this right here at all, okay? So if you spray paint it, just put a piece of tape over that, spray paint it, and then take the tape off, okay? So that's that part of it. This is the part that goes outside, either on your outbuilding or around your around your chicken coops, at the end of your driveway, on a tree. This right here is what goes outside. This here is what they call the radio. This part goes inside your house. This here and this here, they could be 400 feet apart. Now what I have found is they will read further than 400 feet. So you could have this on a tree, 400 feet away from your house, and this is inside your house, and this will activate this. Now let me show you what it does sound like. Let's put it on high. I just turned it on. Now, it's going off because I just had geese run in front of me, okay? This right here, that noise on high is going to wake the living dead. Let's put it on low. Okay. As long as this is sensing motion, this will chime. 
okay? What I do not like about this, I just shut that sensor off. This here, if you have, let's say you bought this set, they come like this, or at least these ones do. Let's say you have five of these sets and you have these all around your yard, 400 feet from the sensors inside, okay? If you have five of these out in your yard and you have five of these in, let's say up on your windowsill or maybe one in every room in your house so you'll be able to hear this, that, that red light means that it's sensing motion. This is off, so you're not hearing the chime. So if you have, let's say, five of these out around your place, and this comes in a package, right? And you have these in your house. All it takes is one of these. And your, your alarm goes off, and you have five of these in different areas around your house. When this goes off, you are not going to tell from which alarm or which sensor is setting that off, okay? Even, even if you have one of these on one side of your house and the other on the other side of the house, one of these five will trigger this. So it does not give you direction. Now, if you only had the one set, like this is at the end of your driveway and this is inside your house, and this goes off, then you know if you've only got one, it's coming from that area. But if you had one on the back side of your house and one in the driveway, this will go off, but you don't know if it's in the back at the back of your house or at the end of your driveway. Does that make any sense? Let's say you have five of these out around your place and with them comes five of these, right? If this goes off, if only one of them goes off out of the five, and you've got five chimes inside the radio, okay, the one that gives you the noise, let's turn, let's turn this on, and let's turn another one on. This one's on high, that noise. Let's turn this one on. Okay, there's two of them. Let's put them right there. Can you see them? Yep. So you've got those in your house and then you've got this. All these radios will go off. Okay. Just so you know, just so you know. I've got to shut them off, folks. So, if you have more than one of this particular brand, they will calibrate and they will set all the alarms off even, only, even if only one of them is being triggered, okay? So if you have more than one brand, maybe, you could put one brand out at the end of your driveway, another brand out the back of your building, another brand out in, let's say, out by your, your coops or your mailbox or, or whatever. Um, and then maybe they won't calibrate. I don't know. I don't know. This here, where am I? This set, this pair comes in this, one package, okay, one package. When I first started using these years ago, they were $9. I think I, the cheapest set I got was $8 and something. And now they're over 20, folks. You might be able to get them cheaper if you shop around, but you're gonna expect to pay about $20 per set, okay? So if you decide to go with something like this, again, if you are monitoring for activity around your house, let's say it's human, okay? You don't want to give away or someone driving by or walking past your place. You do not want that red light 
drawing attention to this. The reason, I don't know why they do that, folks. Put a piece of tape over it. Put a piece of duct tape over it. Paint it with two or three coats of something so that light won't shine through it. Okay. The thing with these is they are ultra, ultra sensitive. So you're not going to want to put it in a place where uh, the geese are going to walk by it. My geese are going to walk by it and trip it a thousand times a day, right? You're going to get sick of that real fast. You also, if you're going to hook it to a tree or around any place that has bushes or tall grass, you are going to want to remove that grass, remove that branch, remove anything that's going to, the wind is going to move to make that sensor goes off. This is very, very sensitive to motion, folks. Very sensitive. And again, it goes out 30 feet from this. The, the, it can detect motion 30 feet out from this, but only, but only at 40 degrees. So it doesn't come out here. It doesn't have a very good periphery at all, folks. It's kind of, kind of more like this. So if you have this, uh, at the end of your driveway and a bat goes by, the bat will, will trigger this. Oh, you, know, you can get all different types of these. There's a thousand and one of them out there, folks, and some have better quality. Some have poorer quality. These I find quite affordable, so you can get a handful or two of them, pick up some extra batteries. These take three, the radio part that goes inside your house, take three C cell batteries. They last a long time. And the sensor part takes one nine volt battery. So if you go with the, the less inexpensive brand like I do, because one, they're convenient, and two, they're affordable. And if one, if one gets destroyed and then just throw it away and and put another one out for 20 bucks, right? It's triggered by motion, whether that is a human, whether that is a predator around your coop, whether that is a branch the wind is blowing, whether that's uh, grass that is blowing in the wind, a bat, a skunk, anything like that. It's going to trip it because this, like I said, this is ultra sensitive when it does detect motion. But again, it only has that 40 degree periphery, which isn't all that great. But I'm sure you can get some that, that is, has a wider, wider range that it will, it will read. You'd have to do your research on that folks. So I'm just, I'm just showing what I use. All mine are camouflaged. I've got them all around my place and, uh, it lets you know there's something around. It does not tell you what is around. And it does not, if you have more than more than one, it's not going to tell you which direction the the motion is coming from or whatever is trigger, triggering it, which direction around your place that it's coming from. It's just going to say, hey, this is going off. I need to go and look. I need to go look out around all my windows to see if I can see what's going on. Uh, it's just not going to tell you from which direction if you have more than one. That's that's a big downfall, but at least it's going to tell you that something is around. This is going to be part one of security. And again, I am not a professional, folks. I am just a simple homesteader learning as I go. I, I know what is working for me. I know what has worked for me. I know what hasn't worked for me. And I, I modify it or change things up when I find that something isn't working exactly like it should, or I forgot a scenario. And, and I'm a pretty, I'm a person that tries to think things through ahead of time. But you, this is where one brain is good if it's functioning. Two brains are better than one, three are better than two, four are better than three, and so on, right? Because everybody thinks a little differently. Everybody has different experiences, right? So this is this is part one. There is going to be at least a part two. 
It's very important, folks. Uh, a lot of a lot of people think, well, I didn't hear anything, I didn't see anything, nothing is around. You'd be surprised what is around if you had something that's moving around your place. You'd be you'd be awful surprised what's around, folks, or who is around. Right? You'd be awful surprised. Even here in the woods, I have a lot of predators. I initially got these because of the bear. I wanted to know when the bear was around in my yard. But I found that it that it works good to let you know that there are people around as well, right? Stealthy in the night. I live in the woods, folks. My I I have motion sensor lights everywhere. I have motion detector gadgets everywhere. When they when everything is still, everything is dark, folks. When there is movement in my yard or around my yard, my lights are triggered and my alarms go off. If you do not have motion sensor lights, if you do not have any form of security, motion sensor, anything like that, it may not let you know that there's somebody around, right? So it may appear that nobody's around ever. You'd be surprised. I'm just telling you folks, you would be surprised what comes around in the night, four-legged or two-legged. I'm just saying, folks. <laughs> 